You ever heard, have you ever heard the expression, you better gather yourself? This is an old Negro spiritual, actually. Not a spiritual in the sense of a, of a song, a song or a dance, but in the sense of a, a, of, of, of a heartical message. You better gather yourselves. You better gather yourselves. When I first heard that, Expression, you better gather yourselves. You know, I thought it meant I better gather, you know, we, but then it was told to me as a singular entity, as a um, gather myself. As I began to recognize that we were made in the image and after the likeness of the triune God of Selassie I, in spirit, soul, and body. I began to really recognize what gather yourselves mean. So I say to you all, you better gather yourselves. We got about seven days, my brothers and sisters, the eve this year, 2014, the eve of Fasika, Pesach, of our Passover season. So you better gather yourselves. Gather your heart mind, your spirit, your soul, your body as one and come to attention. Atten, the atten, the solar orb, the disc, but there's a significance. This is a dynamic symbolism right here. Come to attention. What's the price of the truth? An elder once taught me some years ago. He said the price of the truth is paying attention. Paying attention. See, we live in a, a world f full of confusion, full of chaos, full of full of of, of doo doo. Everybody's just doo 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 doo. Passover is not really a, a time of doo doo, according to what those who say they are Jews say. But it's really a time of gathering yourselves, of 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 coming to attention of receiving, of, of amening, of accepting that Jah Adonai has done the work and we need to receive. It's like when you're the running back, you just need to run, make that move. And so make that move to gather yourself. The true quarterback, spiritually speaking, using this modern metaphor, will throw that ball and all you need to do is to catch it, is to receive it. Now, as with the sports analogy, you might have to run and dodge <laughs> some negative situation which try to block your way, block you from gathering yourself, want to keep you mixed up in moods, attitudes, and confused. But now that we know we have this holy, this sacred, this set apart time, and we set it apart, not as an outer superficial act, but as an inward act, as, as an act of the inward man, the inner man. That's what gather yourself means. You better gather yourself. What wisdom our ancestors had even though they wasn't as so-called well-educated as many of us had become, they understood the spiritual heart of the matter. And we need to return. We need to repent. We need to have a change of mind because the way we've been seeing things from the Babylonian perspective in the image of the beast, hasn't caused us to be free, that release. Passover, Fasica, is very important, my brothers and sisters. So, you are to gather yourself, whether you are alone, whether you are with two or three other like-minded ones, gather yourself. And if you find that there's not many others in your particular area or where you are, that does not matter. 
there's a, there's a whole spiritual brotherhood that you have. There's brothers and sisters who are gathering themselves as well. So when you gather yourself, we gather ourselves, spiritually speaking, we're on Jah's network and we can receive and we can pass over something negative, something bad. Trust Jah, our main, his word, and recognize that that too will pass. My brothers and sisters, May Jah bless the eye, may he keep the eye, may he cause his face to shine upon the eye in his grace and give you his Yeshua Shalom. May our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you and be in you. And don't forget to gather yourself.